Okay, I just spoke to Charlie Borman here on the BMW stand. I'm now joined by Tuan, who was in charge of the development of this new GS. Now, Tuan, we talked to Charlie about how different this bike is from its predecessor. And you just spoke to me about everything and how it had to change. It was one thing that led to another, wasn't it? Yes, yes. Well, we started with the new engine. And because we changed from uh, the direction of the intake, uh, we had to change the position of the, um, the airbox and we changed the position of the, uh, the tank, uh, the fuel tank. So, and then one comes to another uh, and we had to change everything to get the bike together again. Now, how significant was the change from air-cooled to water-cooled for the GS? Um, well, the, 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 the water cooling was not a, a target we had. So, when you, you get more power out of an engine, you get more warmth, more heat. So, and with the old engine, we were on the edge of the, the amount of heat uh, was produced in the engine so it was not a question if we had to change to the to the water cooling so the question was what is the right time to change and because we wanted to go on the vertical flow um, we said okay now we do the big change uh, to have this motor re uh, this engine real future proof now picking up on another thing that Charlie Borman said he said the bike is so much better to ride than the old one I'm guessing that was a target of yours yes yes of course um, for me it was very important that when we get our customers on this motorcycle and they ride it that they, 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 they like it so much and they feel the difference to their old bike that they are unhappy until they own one. Yeah. So, and the secret is that um, uh, because the actual GS is such a good bike there is not one big button you can push and it's a better bike so we really had to do uh, improvement in all the facts, yeah, all the all the details to get the bike together on a higher level. It's, it's come together fantastically and it looks great as well. Yeah. Now it must be like working on a celebrity, it must be like giving a celebrity facelift after all these programs it's been featured in. Yes it is and of course it's uh, it was, um, was kind of um, a challenge uh, to us but um, at the time we had the first prototypes and we got on the prototypes and we found out that it worked what we were thinking about and that the bike had the potential to be a better bike so then we real had a, a, well, we found out and we said okay we will manage this and um, it's uh, it, it was a real real fun to do it i can imagine well i'm hearing only good things so i'd say that's mission complete thank you for talking to us today thank you so from an icon of adventure touring on the bmw stand we're now going to meet somebody on the husqvarna stand who's a former bmw dakar icon We'll meet you there.